Well, there are several new commercial and real estate trends that are boosting the U.S. economy in states like Florida, Phoenix, and Las Vegas. What are they doing differently in those cities and states that we can learn from? Here to tell us about it is John Boyd, Jr. He is the principal from the Boyd Company. Welcome to you, and thanks so much for joining us on Every Today. Thanks for having me this morning. We're glad to have you. First question that I have for you, what markets are especially prime for growth on the commercial side of things? Right. Well, the, the commercial sector is actually leading the residential sector, and the common denominator among markets that are experiencing the strongest rebound are s cities and, and states with positive business climates. Okay. And many of these cities have, have been hit hardest by the financial downturn in, in 2008. Cities like Phoenix, Las Vegas, South Florida. Uh, mu much of what's fueling the, the, the rebound in South Florida is new money coming from Brazil and Latin America and mm -hmm. South America. And that's because those economies are doing well compared to the dollar? Yes, okay. yes. Uh, so that's more on the commercial side, uh, different kinds right. of, uh, of edifices there, different kinds of buildings. What about the residential right. side? Right. Uh, uh, the, the residential market is rebounding. Just yesterday, uh, the, the statistics came out that show that home prices today are highest that, that, that they've been in five years. That's great news for the economy. Uh, what we're seeing today uh, when in the residential sector is a growing affinity for green-friendly, smart-growth planned communities. Mm. Two prominent examples come, that come to mind are uh, the, uh, Summerlin in western Las Vegas that uh, is mixed-use development. Uh, Summerlin is owned by the Howard Hughes Corporation, which is a client of ours over the years. We've helped them attract businesses like Bank of America and Expedia. Another example is Washington Town Center, a town center in Robbinsville, New Jersey. Okay. That, um, currently, Amazon is looking at, at uh, putting a, where a mega warehouse uh, in the Robbinsville area. Interesting. So right. green uh, mixed use and, and, and green uh, building, which is something that's, that's really interesting. And you mentioned the companies that are getting involved in that. What about the government? Can the federal right. government do anything to step in right. and sort of help with this real estate rebound? Yes, two things that come to mind. Number one, the, the mortgage interest tax deduction. Uh, Congress is currently looking to close that loophole as a way to generate revenue, addressing the, the much talked about fiscal cliff. I would encourage Congress not to touch that uh, deduction. That could, that could stall the, the, the housing rebound. The, the other thing is to get a handle of the, through policy changes uh, addressing the student loan crisis. Mm. Uh, so many young Americans are saddled with debt, and that, of course, is a barrier to young workers uh, getting in the housing market. Sure. Well, we know we've been talking a lot about domestic um, you know, politics and policies and what the federal government can do. What about the international landscape? How does economic insecurity, say for example in Europe and around the rest of the globe, affect the real estate market here? That's an excellent question. M many uh, uh, people from around the world now view America as a safe harbor to, to put their capital, whether that be Europeans uh, uh, feeling the pressure of the, Euro uh, the financial crisis in Europe, uh, also, uh, the, you know, the, the Arab Spring, the uprisings throughout the Middle East. Uh, so many people from around the globe are taking advantage of historic real estate bargains uh, in this country. Okay, um, we know that there's certainly opportunities here in the United States. If you have the money, it's probably a great time to invest residentially right. or commercially. Uh, the one question that everybody does have to do in the United States, though, is pay taxes. So how do those property taxes come right. into play mm -hmm. when you're talking about getting a new property right. off the ground? Uh, property taxes are emerging, really, as a major, major site selection uh, criteria, where companies um, uh, historically have, have paid more attention to income taxes. But because of uh, cash-strapped communities around the country raising uh, property taxes each year, it's something businesses are paying very close attention to. Uh, I'll give you a quick example. In northern New Jersey, a 500,000-square-foot warehouse would pay about $2 million annually in property taxes. In a market like uh, Charleston or, or Savannah, for example, that same company would pay uh, about $500,000 a year in property wow. taxes. So it's a huge difference, definitely something to consider when you're talking about where you want to make your investment. Yes. Yes. All right, John Boyd Jr., we really appreciate you being Thank here you. today on Every Today. And of course, that interview will be posted on our website as the day goes on, so you can right. check it out and get it all over again.